Hey guys, been a while since I've done a video on the power wall and the new setup um, and one of those reasons is that I've been having some issues with the BMS um, and the easiest way to explain is to show it. So currently we've got the seven boards up here. I regret putting them on the top one, I should have really put them on the bottom but I could maybe swap those around. And we've got the inverter and the inverter's off. So I'm just going to flick that on. Um, you can't see from there but starts off at zero watts. Um, gets itself going and then it'll ramp up to 150 watts and you'll notice there's no green lights flashing so they're not in panic mode not in bypass or anything like that so they're just reporting back in okay um, this is gonna pick up in a second and there we go so now you see but we're getting up to about 150 watts is what I've got a limited to now until I get the CT clamp done and then after a while what you'll notice if you can see at the top here there you go straight away got one of the boards flashing there and that indicates it's in panic mode and then what happens is periodically the others will go into panic mode so they basically they'll drop in and out um, of panic and that affects the reporting and then so because you can't see all seven you're not able to do things like balancing um, and it kind of just renders it unusable and basically it's down to the inverter or well it's definitely the inverter but it, it could be my haphazard lazy wiring now this white wire that comes across here that's resting across the front of the inverter is connected to the load on the um, output of the charge controller and that happens to run by the inverter and you look there that like christmas tree now they're all six uh, seven are lit up what happens is sometimes it'll come back and sometimes it'll go off but yeah as explained this wire goes up here it basically plugs into a tiny alphatronics um 24 to um, 12 volt adapter which then powers some lights in the garage here um, strip light across the top and two garage doors here and this may sound silly but I just couldn't figure out the correlation and I had it in here and because I hadn't got the CT clamp set up I kind of just been using it sporadically for testing and it just it never dawned on us um, I did get the occasional panic on the odd one but nothing like this which just rendered it unusable so if I switch that off now um and we'll see if these go out and hopefully they do and basically it's the i squared c the communication wires in between um and that's where it's lying across one of the ones in there between cell pack two and three so some of the suggestions i've had as well um was to twist the data wires together to stop interference um which i will try also but the first thing is going to be to Get rid of this wire and start tidying the, the wiring up as well um so i'm going to tidy the wiring up and then i'll follow up in a later video we'll see if that helped if not i'll then look into either i could shorten these wires also because they're not an ideal length hanging down here um so that's basically why i hadn't been doing any updates and it's just i've been looking at it in the background for a while and it just took another set of eyes and then when adam welsh did his recent video um, and I think he had an issue provision in one of the modules. Someone had put a comment on there about interference. And I was talking with Adam. That led him to think, oh, well, this could be the issue here also. And lo and behold, it was. So thank you very much for that. That's fantastic. Um, because of that and the ongoing issues, I just haven't looked at it anymore. I haven't done any more of the coding. And ironically, I didn't bother tidying the wiring up until I knew the BMS was working. It's been kind of a vicious little circle and that was causing the problems. So what I do intend to do is, I had put Stuart's code on the Wemos, which is precariously dangling down. Um, that seems a DIY BMS thing, because uh, I think Adam had his the same. So I need to um, tidy that up, do a little 3D printer enclosure, get that up at the top, tidy this wiring up, and like I say, see where we go. I'm going to put my code back on, and then I'll get that reporting back into Grafana. Um, I've pretty much got the pack relatively in balance. What I have found is that despite using the um, the tool where you put it on the website and then you get them to balance out, can't remember off the top of my head, um, the repacker, repacker.com, um, they're not exactly perfect, so there is some slight variances, but that's where the BMS should be able to kick in and get everything sorted. So, um, so yeah, like I say, I'm gonna sort the wiring out, tidy things up, go back to my code, um, and then I'll come back with a follow-up video and we'll be able to see if that's helped the issue. Okay, cheers guys. Please feel free to like, subscribe. Thanks.